All right, let's get started. Tonight, we're opening up a box of Guilds of Ravnica. As you guys probably know, Guilds of Ravnica is not actually out until the 5th of October. Gotta show this. Wizards don't like it if you open up stuff early without permission and displaying this. 5th of October. Not what I originally wrote on the other side. 5th of October, guys. All right. Hopefully this is all working and we're live and happy and not getting any crap sound oh. feedback. Hopefully this is uh, all working and on. we're live and happy. Oh, Rugus. Hey, Chris. Glad you could sound make it. Feedback. Hey. Uh, Thanks for tuning in with little notice. Oh, Rugus. Let's get into hey, it. Chris. Look at Glad all you Hey. What have we got? Thanks for tuning in Just with dude. little notice. Oh, Let's get into hey, it. Look at Who's the other hey, one? What have we got? Uh, in well, Zarek. Yeah. Well, Zarek does. Let's get into it. And Who's some Slesnia. Well, something I don't know. I haven't even looked at the spoilers. A little bit. Because, you know, you've got to, right? You've got to. But I've tried not to take too much notice. I haven't looked at the spoilers. Interesting. Little bit. Yeah, bust and boosters. You've got it, right? You've got it. But I've tried not to take too back. much notice. Is that that? Interesting. Yeah. Really? Little bit. Yeah, bust going. and I've boosters. Got sound turned right. off. You've got it. But I've tried not to take too much notice. Well, there goes the speaker. Yeah. Well, back. Bust and boosters. How's it sound now? But I've tried not to take too much notice. Well, I've had issues before where the little close up. How's it sound now? You probably don't need Pokemon Card. I've had issues before where Close Up Cam has a microphone Close -up going has on and so has the webcam. Close Up Cam has a microphone going this on now. and so has the webcam. Oh, oh that's better. <laughs> that one's got me before too, where I've t tested the Twitch stream. And then turn, had it muted, then turned the sound on so I could hear that it sounds all right. And then have totally failed to, uh, to, uh, turn the, uh, stream sound back off. But anyway, thank you guys. We're there. We're good. I hope. Uh, so no, no basics, no basics in these guys. Uh, what have we got to kick us off? It's rare. Runaway Steamkin. Whenever you cast a red spell, fewer than three one counters on it, put a counter on it. Remove three, get three red mana. Alright. Doesn't seem too hard to make him big, but how big is he really going to get? I don't know. Uh, what have we got? Another rare. Oh, Pokemon test card. You can go up there. All right, card two, big night of box opening, chamber sentry, enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each color, now hang on, colorless X, it's a colorless X card, Ravnica sealed event on Monday, nah, that was not at Ballarat, that's why, uh, no it was, what did we do, no we did a draft, there's somewhere in Melbourne that did a very cool seal defend. Um, worked well, I think. How many players did they get? Colourless X cards. Hanger back walker. Walking ballista. Is this one going to be any good? He enters the battlefield with X count, uh, with plus one counter on it for each colour. What? Mana spent on it. Remove a thing. Deals. It's a card, I guess. It's a card. We've got another rare. Let's get that under the camera. Two cost, two two vigilance. Sack him. Destroy target legendary permanent. Oh, sure. I'll play that. Seems alright. I'm only going to show the rares, guys, unless you actually say, "Hey, show me that sick, uncommon, or whatever it is that you want to see." Uh, all right, everyone likes a quick stream. 
Mausoleum, mausoleums, mausoleum secrets, undergrowth. This is the first time I've seen undergrowth. Search your library for a black card with a converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. Seems all right. Oh, he's hosting me. Thank you. Chromatic land and reprint. Not a bad thing, given the price it was getting up to. Not by any means. Uh, a lot of good fixing in this set, by the looks. I'm looking forward to drafting, going three colours all the time, which is what we all tried to do when we drafted uh, Rav Block last week. Which was pretty fun, I think, guys. Knight of Autumn. Enters the battlefield, choose one, put two counters on it, destroy things, gain four life. I think that does enough. I think that does enough. So, four, three for three. Yeah. Gain life if I need it. Destroy something if you need it. Seems, seems awesome. Uh, smashing through them. Defeat, deafening, clarion. Oh, that's nice art. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Hopefully pretty good. Choose one or both. Deals three damage to each creature. And creatures you control gain life link until end of turn. Oh yeah. I don't want to deal three damage to my creatures in some instances for sure. Risk Factor. Target opponent may have Risk Factor deal 4 damage to them. If the player doesn't, you draw 3 cards. Jumpstart. Alright. Cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to playing its other costs. Then exile this card. Is Jumpstart good? Hey Cannonball, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're smashing through these boosters, hopefully. Oh, what if I do this? I'm not really set up for these sort of cards. Resp response deals 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature for 2. Seems pretty good. Creatures you control gain first strike. And vigilance. Another combat phase. And domain phase. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, these guys. Oh, Craig, you think... Jumpstart will be on fundamentally an okay mechanic. It's just got to be on the right card. Is that what you're... Ooh, foil. All right. Boily things. Uh, what about this? Like, you, ha you have to pay both at once if you're going to do both the things, right? Pretty sure that's how that works. Hatchery Spider. Reach. Undergrowth. When you cast this spell, reveal the top x cards of your library where x is the number of creatures in your graveyard put a green permanent card all right that seems interesting uh, that sort of thing has been good in the past we've got a foil in that one as well now i haven't even shown the last foil four mana draw two with jays with js Disinformation campaign. It's all shiny. I haven't got good lighting tonight for showing the shininess because I decided to go for quality rather than shininess. In the past, I've had a light up there behind to catch it, but I actually put up a. Well, I guess I could do this. No, I don't know. Uh, we don't want to read that. Doesn't even look. Oh, yeah. Oh, the guild symbols look real nice, though. This is an interesting card. Exile all cards from opponent's graveyard. You may cast those cards this turn and you may spend, up, may spend mana of any colour. Extra things to stop too much graveyard shenanigans. I reckon that one's alright. Yeah, I'm a big fan, Cannibal, of Is It. I'm definitely looking forward to Is Iting. Oh, we got a foil rare. Hope it's one of the good ones. Uh, but I'm going to show you this because that looks awesome. Nice. I do love a good foil and as people know. Quasi duplicate. 
Create a token that's a copy of a target creature you control. Then jump start it. Extra value. Demir is better. Demir is very fun. Uh, I've got to say, but I've got a soft spot for is it at the moment. A couple of years ago, I was all about that Demir. But burning people's faces and drawing cards seems good. So what's this? Foil. This is our foil rare. Convoke. Because yeah, you know we've never had problems with making cheaper casting costs in the past. We should we should do that again. Yeah, okay, it's the tap one. Makes things cheaper. And as a battlefield, put a one count plus one counter on each creature that convoked it. Good enough. Is that really what I want to be doing? Even if I get it out for two or three, I'm still only got a full four. Which one's a solid card, Craig? This one? The Loxodon? Legion Warboss. He's a goblin. Highly relevant in all the things. Mentor, combat, make a 1-1 one, one against haste and attacks. But this guy doesn't have to attack. No, this guy does have to attack to get the Mentor trigger. That's interesting. Mentor has some potential. I'm going to be interested to see how that goes. Alright, is there already lists up for post-rotation? I guess there would be. People speculating, brewing, contemplating. War boss is great. There's a 3 cost 2-2 two, two that makes a 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> Seems alright. If, if he hits, yeah. Alright. We've got our first of the new shocks, guys. So I haven't really seen the art on these and stuff. That's that's nice. I like that. Where are the war, where are these things going to end up? Like this is our third printing, second one in six years, which seems all right. All right. It's going to make shocks a lot more affordable. But where are they? We're going to see them get down below ten bucks again. I think they got down below ten bucks briefly with return to rev i certainly picked some up at 10 bucks i remember i think we all did which was part of the problem everyone gathered all the shock lads up and then they did nothing really price wise nothing seven to eight us at the moment okay so 11 12 12 in australia unmoored ego Some text. Search target opponent's graveyard. Okay, so it's an extraction type thing. Because are we losing Lost Legacy, right? So... Probably be running this in tomorrow's streamer event. Uh, oh, is it... Is this the promo? Yeah, that's the promo. I don't know, that seems like a lot of mana to do stuff. Tron Killer! Oh, it's another Tron Killer! They just keep printing Tron Killers. One of these days, Tron's actually going to get killed. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be the Tron Killer? The one that actually does it? Alright. Demir card. Can't be blocked. Seems alright for 3-5. And when it deals combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls. Put a hit counter on that card. That player loses the game if there are three or more exiled cards with hit counters on it. That's sick. That's... Tron is never dead. Uh, is this, this card really good? Can't be blocked, so you're going to get... A, these hit counters on pretty easily and then they can't play any creatures because then they'll lose the game I guess it still dies to everything doesn't it uh, Judge in standard never hopefully Erratic Cyclops Trample when you cast an instant or sorcery a spell gets plus zero plus yeah, seems like a limited card 
Maybe even not even... Oh, hang on. Well, it's not just getting plus one, plus one or anything. Plus X plus zero, where it's its converted mana cost. All right. Still seems great for limited, but probably not other things. Uh, what's our next one? Uh, Vivid Revival. No angels so far, Leanne. I'm sorry. Uh, is there even angels in this set? I don't know. Like, pretty sure they uh, they uh, put a ban on angels. Something? Is there any angels? I haven't looked that carefully at the spoilers. I've glanced at cards, obviously. Glanced at the planeswalkers and that sort of thing. Um, but, have not. This. This is some pretty nice art. That's pretty. Oh, they are doing a great job. Who's that artist? Jonas DiRio. Okay. He's done all right. I like it. I'm a big fan. Uh, I think I'm going to get some steam vents. Just, just for the art. I'm going to call that an upgrade on the earlier ones. Especially because I sold all my original ones. Because they were worth money. Generous Stray. That's foil. And it's a cat. And it's a common. Eh. I do not have the two Planeswalker decks. I've never actually asked Wizards whether I'm allowed to do the Planeswalker decks early. Uh, people like boxes. I like boxes. I like busted boosters. Uh, it's a land that makes mana. Yay! Add one mana of any colour. Well, you've got to pay one to do that. If that mana is spent on a multicoloured spell, that creature enters with a plus one plus one. All right. Utility land. I always like good utility land. They they tend to get played somewhere, sometime. You'll take that one too, Cannonball. The foil cat is is adorable. It's a, it's a cat. It's true. Overgrown tomb. Mm -hmm. We're doing all right with shocks out of this box. We get a mythic, guys. You, Josh, you can't stop printing cats, man. Cats, it's money in the bank. Everyone loves a cat. On the internet. Psh, that's what the internet tells me. Everyone loves a cat. Gruesome Menagerie. Choose a creature card with converted mana cost one, then two, then three, and return them to the battlefield for five. Yeah, seems all right. Am I opening two boxes? Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to. We'll see. We'll see how uh, how much how much love we're getting for the box opening. March of the multitudes. But yeah, the second box gets boring, guys. Like it's not new and interesting anymore. March of the Multitudes. Uh, create X one ones with lifelink. So for four mana, I get one. Oh yes, but convoke. But convoke doesn't actually help you with the coloured mana, does it? No, helps you bump X, but. Oh, oh. oh I was hoping we'd get this in foil even. How's the value? Uh, I don't think we've hit any mythics. Anyone remember any mythics? All right, excite. I'm excited. No, not this one. We've got a foil. This is just the normal one. Uh, look at the top card. Play the top card. Can't play cards from your hand. What? Uh, sort of draw in red. I like what they're doing with draw in red. Look at this bad boy. He's the boss. And he's all foily. Oh, this is the problem with the way I did the lighting tonight. Can't really capture the awesomeness of the foilness. Mm. I don't care if he's any good. I don't care if he's bad. I just... he It's Nib Mizzet. Nib Mizzet. They need to put him on a... a <laughs> you immediately add that... That's hot. Uh, you can't be counted. God, look at that mana cost. Oh, I can't. I'm not sure I can read the rest. 
Whatever you draw a card, deal one damage to any target. Okay, that's more than pinging. Cast an insta sorcery, draw a card. Mm, I do like punishing people for doing things that they want to do. But it's me as well. Sick. Yeah, the watermarks are nice. They are, they are really nice. We've got another foil. This guy. Yeah, he's common. Does stuff. We've got a mythic. I think this is our first one. Flash blowing stuff. I need to move some boosters over here. Some some cards over here. We'll we'll pause on our first mythic, especially because I haven't actually read it. Flash flying six for a four three. That three toughness is not really what I'm looking for in my flash creatures. But anyway, I want to be able to flash them in and take out one of your guys and not lose my guy. Uh, so bail four. Why is that gone all? Why is my lighting going all funny now? When you do return target non-land permanent an opponent calls to its owner's hand. Nice. So, so bail four. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. Three toughness equals bad. Well said. Well said, sir. We will get on to the next card. Iron Eyes. Counter spell for three. Deals two damage to that spell's controller. Baby, I'm not selling what you're buying. No, I'm not buying. No, nah, that's not a counter spell. I've got a foil. Enhanced surveillance. Surveillance. And we've got another shock. Nice. Uh, when you look at two. Yeah. I do like surveil, but. I mean, it could be awesome for a limited build around. I think you're going to be winning a lot of games if you're surveilling a lot. And we'll go to Temple Garden. That's good. Steam Vents. What well, we are focusing on the cards. I don't know. I've tried all sorts of ways, Dragon. And uh, this seems to be the way the local guff players like it. They like shame my fresh. I don't know if I could the dimensions make it interesting. I could make this bigger. Uh, oh, I'm gonna break things if I try and do it live. No, no. Oh, thanks, Nicky Wonka. I'm opening cards and I'm showing close-ups of cards. If you have seen the box openings a year ago, you'd be like, this is also... Thanks. I think that's a compliment. Uh, first, first box opening we did on my phone when I was spon spontaneously just went, you know what? I'm going to open up a box and I'm going to... I'm going to stream it. Everything was backwards. Uh, that was good times. Except if you wanted to actually read cards. And man, I was holding the cards up to the camera. Oh, get close up. Nah, this is this is better. Uh, what's this guy do? He's a four, four for three. That seems all right. In tramples, that also seems all right. It's what my bit, what I want my big creatures to be doing. Uh, bidding of your upkeep, exile a creature card from your graveyard. Yeah, if you do. Put a counter on him. <laughs> Otherwise, sacrifice him. All right. Discard a creature card. Put a thing on it. And then you exile that thing. Ah, nice. That. I haven't seen that before. Golgari. Go, man. Ah, is that, that's probably the best Golgari card in the set, you'd have to say. Wouldn't you say? I don't know. I guess we'll find out as we open, in, open some things. Did I show the rare out of that this pack? Have I been jabbering on so much wow uh is it is it for life nicky wonka that's not true is it for now until i get bored of playing that then probably back to demir uh certainly in return to rav demir was i think my favorite from memory what's that sacred fan that's the that's where the rare went do we care about mission briefing? 
It's not one of the good rares, is it? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Cannonball. Uh, I'll probably do another box opening next week. I'll be able to report back. It's got to be Golgari, right? Because everyone loves uh, Blue Black. Mission Briefing. I hear it's good. I hear it's going for like 18 bucks or something. Seems like not a bad price for a rare. Sacred Foundry. Just trying to remember the last arts on the Sacred Foundries. It's good. I do like it. Is it better? Snapcaster without a body. Yeah, mission briefing. It's going to do some work. Demir, that's your guess. What do you guys, what, what, what's your prediction, guys? We'll check back next week and uh, Demir, the most popular one. Boris. What do you mean last night's testing, Craig? You know, it's not out on Arena yet. Is it? Uh, no. I mean, I know they're doing it early, but probably shouldn't, know. shouldn't. We should probably shouldn't know. We've got a we got a foil. Skyline Scout. Demir and Golgari at the pre-release. Karinas, you should play all of them. Play all the pre-releases. Try each of them out. Selesnia, but Boris looks real good. Yeah. Look, Boris Boris will, you know, like it always wins games, right? That aggro strategy, but I don't know. When it comes to pre-release, I want to have I want to have longer games. I want to see more cards. I want to play more Magic uh, than slamming down some fast cards and bashing someone's face in. This is the last card in the booster box, guys. Last card. Last last booster in the booster box. Babe, Demir, is it? Yep. I oh, love drawing cards. Well said. Said. That's uh, that's probably my why well, I'm on those two as well. I think I'll get to play three. I haven't decided what the third one is. Definitely is it? Definitely Demir. Then probably whichever one is the least popular because you want to play against a variety of decks. You don't want to be sitting down to pre-release and facing twenty different Golgari decks. Mythic Aurelia, are you any good? Are you any good? Swift Blade is nutty with a. Is that the unblockable Swift Blade, Craig? The. Crazy Good. That's a big call. Crazy Good. Maybe I should read it. Cost 4, 2 5. Has Flying, has Mentor. I do like Mentor as a, as a mechanic. Beginning of combat, choose up to one target creature you control. Then it gets plus 2, Trample if it's red, and Vigilance if it's white. Nice. Why has the lighting gone a bit funny? I'll focus. No, I don't think that's better. New box! New box! Box two! Let's get into it! Golgari and Selesnia for limited. Okay. Go wide. I assume that's what Green White's doing. Go wide. How do I have all these boxes? Because Wizards let me open up boxes early. <laughs> um, I am a lucky, lucky magic player. Let's move these over here. Uh, yeah, that's basically the story. I don't know. Someone else in chat can probably go deeper into the story, but... Yeah, they sent me a couple boxes. They sent me some boxes early to open on stream. Just as long as I put up the release date, they're all happy. They go, all right, sure, do it. Four, five, flying vigilance, trample, and mentor something. That does seem good, Nifty. That does seem good. Expansion, explosion. All right, let's turn this around. Copy target instant or sorcery spell with converter at CMC four or less. Choose new targets. All the good instants and sorceries are four or less. So that seems all right. And it only costs two. Seems all right. 
More oh, T T Y T Y. Um, yes, I do have a store. It's one of the reasons I do own Xboxes. Uh, um, explosion deals X damage to any target. Target creature, no, target player draws X cards. Sick. That's a very is it card. Um, what's the foil? How was the value on that last box, guys? We got four shocks, a couple of mythics, no planeswalkers. What is wrong with you? Get a decent box. I should have pre-stacked the box. I knew I should have pre-stacked it. I can just no. <laughs> I don't know what pre-stacking a box actually means. Uh, that's why I use my magic skills and go, mm, yeah, that's got a mythic in it. We'll put that one in the box. You like that one? Legion War, War Boss. We've already had one of these. This is where the second one gets. Second box. Not as fun. <sighs> Goblins. People are a fan. Chromatic Lantern. We've seen that one too. Give us a Planeswalker. How come there are all these foils? So am I getting a lot of foils? No, I'm five from the last box. <laughs> Mate, they are all going to be up online. And you can snaffle one and I'll send it to Bendigo. Of course, not available. Can't even send it until 5th of October. Overgrown Tomb. Um, I don't have some water. Uh, they should have made the new masterpieces open. Yeah, the whole that whole new masterpieces thing. That's an interesting one. <laughs> oh, there's maybe we should have a bidding war on the foil angel. Did we get a foil angel? I don't think it was foil, was it? It was just an angel. Psh, angels. No one even likes angels. What is this? Oh, maybe it's the light guys. These are not all foil. <laughs> I would love to farm out uh, the process of sorting all these cards. Uh, unfortunately, I usually do it do it myself because I want them to be sorted properly. It's amazing how hard it is to alphabetize. I'm not talking about any specific work experience, kid, but there's been some good ones. Yes, when's when's Ben's box opening? He can do his own, actually, I'm not sure he can do his own early box opening, but he can do box opening. All right, we do have another foil. You guys are going to be pretty excited about this one, I think. What is this? Oh, we've had this too. Has a lot of things on it. There is a weird light. It wasn't like that at the start. This one's foil. See, and I guess the camera is making it look foil. Leapfrog. Has flying as long as you've cast instant or sorcery spell this turn. 3 1 for 3. It's common. It's a frog. If you like frogs, that's right. If you want it done right, do it yourself. Daniel does a good job. Uh, one of the full timers at the store. He does a real good job, but. Gatekeeper Gargoyle. Six cost, a 3-3 three, three flyer, gets a counter on it for each gate you control. Alright, well I'm going to play gates anyway. Mission briefing. <laughs> was Yargle a frog? No. Was it? Ballarat needs a streamer area, man. Bendigo's got the space for a streaming area. Ballarat, not so much. We can do the things, but we've set it up a couple of times temporarily, and it was it was cool for a gimmick, but permanently, I don't know. Miria Soul of the Accord. People barely want to watch box openings from some random that they don't know who it is. Let alone random players that they don't know who it is. Let's face it, Magic players rarely want to see the top 
pros play. The stream numbers for the Pro Tour and stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of watching the Pro, Pro Tour. Big, big fan. Um, yeah, staying up all night, watching the things. Big fan. But a large part of the Magic community doesn't seem to agree with me. Although I do wish they had a thing where I could hover over the card and get a close-up if I don't know what it is. And I think the tech is there. I reckon I saw a streamer do it. The, guy, the commentary is pretty good. Even, even I've even warmed up to Riley now. Took a little bit. I don't even know. What a, a magic community. I don't even know what that comment means. But you're probably, probably right. I'm saying the magic community should watch more streams. There's some great players out there, some super entertaining games. I don't understand why they don't watch more. Except the, the stream quality is not great. I booked for the G for GP Melbourne the other day. Now well, there's a Riley fan. Are we biased because he's Australian? Probably. We're a patriotic bunch. Concoct Surveil 3. Cost 5. What are the chances I'm doing that after I pay 4? Gain control of creature with power two or less. Okay. Oh, I'd be sad. I'm in Portugal too. Oh, <laughs> Portugal's awesome. Do you live in Portugal? You get your fair share of GPs and stuff, surely. Uh, I noticed not many people stream magic. I don't... Well, I've tried to stream a lot of magic, but... I don't know if I'm if people if you don't watch someone play I reckon you want to watch the best no I'm not the best it's sort of fun streaming uh, I was doing arena I have tried some uh, uh, tabletop as well setting up some cameras above the table and that sort of thing need one of those fancy poker tables that has the glass underneath and you can see the cards play the pro should be made to Put their cards down like this and then anyway watery grave looks sick uh yeah well there is some guys you're absolutely right craig there is a couple of exceptions to that but basically if you're not a pro you uh don't get viewers and i think they need the viewers to be honest they the, the money's not that great they need the extra money i think from people watching streams and sponsorship and that sort of thing. Yeah, poker table cams. Yeah, it could be true. Could be true. Arena stream is getting lost with... Well, do we... MTGO, though. How long is it going to last, really? Like, Arena's pretty good. We're going to add more and more stuff to it. I mean, MTGO will always have that you know, legacy, modern, that sort of thing. But I'm certainly on the bandwagon that eventually they're going to do a new modern format from wherever Arena's up to as the years go by. Not for several years, but it makes sense, right? Ooh, foily. Ah, yeah. Okay, Buckle. So MTGA got you back. That's interesting. That's cool. Uh, MTGA certainly got me back to to playing online. Sacred Foundry. We've seen it before. Here's the foil. Ooh, pre-ordering a playset of Mission Briefing. Uh, as a store owner, I would say yes. Yes, you should pre-order a playset. As a Magic player, I'd say the price it's sitting at for a rare. Yeah, it's great. You said it well. Uh, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Flying Haste. Now all the YouTube viewers are going to be going, what? What did Craig say? Well, I don't know. Look the stream up on Twitch and watch it there, I guess. Erratic Cyclops. We've seen this guy. Oh my god, we're halfway through this box. Box and a half. No, no who planeswalkers. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've opened quite a few shocks. Can't complain too much. 
Wow, is Garfield on this? Coming back to design. He didn't he didn't work on this one, did he? He's worked on he worked on Innistrad, I wanna say. Uh, I don't know. Uh, find my own research. Disappoint. You disappoint me. Oh, magic detection. Oh, I, I do like magic detection to find the planeswalker pack. You know what? It's this one. We'll open it next. We'll do this one because I, I already started ripping it. Uh, mono green in what? It pre release buckle? Dominaria Craig for Garfield. Yeah, he definitely did one recently, but I don't think it was Guilds of Ravnica. Under Realm Lich. If you draw a card, he's Mythic. Oh, bingo, Mythic. If you draw a card and said, look at the top three cards of your library, then put one of them in your hand and the rest in the graveyard. That's good. Ah, well, there's a good counter for dies to lightning bolt because he does die to lightning bolt. Pay for life though. Gains indestructible. Tap it. I like it. Mono green was the way to go for. Oh, for this rotation. Yeah, post rotation. Mono green doesn't lose a lot of stuff, I don't think. Who's a standard expert? Five color artifacts at the pre release. That would be a hell of a lot of fun. I would like to do that. How does he have boxes? Oh my god. Oh, he's such a hacksaw. He has boxes because wizards send him boxes to open up on stream. It's 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 a pack. It's a perk or something. Night of the Autumn. He's real sweet. It's the magic mafia. How did you get don't you know yeah, that's right. How did you get in here? This is uh no. Bad jokes are bad. Seven strands in foil, guys. Hang on, I'm going to try and... Yeah, we care more about the art than the text. That looks pretty cool. Look at those webs coming out there. Nice. Uh, he just has to specify the release date. I do, I do. It's very important. 5th of October, I'm pretty sure it is. Although, interestingly, I googled this before I came on stream. Just to double check. And uh, it wasn't even mentioned on the wizard site. Uh, the normal one that lists, you know, these are the new products coming out and this is the release date for, for this is the date for pre-release and open house. It listed all the dates. Didn't actually re uh, list the normal release date, which I thought was interesting. But there we go. Uh, why does it release the fifth? That's when the physical boosters and stuff go on sale. Like, not pre-release, not Planeswalker deck, open dueling at pre-release weekend, not anything like that. It's the fifth, fifth, fifth. Oh yes, good point, Joseph. They're doing that thing again where you can uh, pre-order a box and pick it up over pre-release weekend. That's sick. Not... Not just single boosters, though, unfortunately. Got to be a box. Uh, Wizards of the Coast do quite like it sell as uh, buying boxes as magic players. Double Strike Vigilance Trample 1-1 one, one for 2. Yeah. It is a bit strange, but I'm sure their marketing guys know something after 25 years about building hype and stuff i do like the new being able to pick up pick up pre-release <laughs> i was unimpressed by a two cost one one double strike and vigilance trampler i was yeah well you yeah, well good point craig yeah i'm really interested to see how Ma mentor goes i first read it and went but the more, the more I saw Mentor cards, the more I went, ooh, this is spicy. This could be a thing. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, I think this is the first time we've had this card. Do stuff. It's a mythic. Uh, -huh. uh not the, not the Pelt Collector, this one. 
Uh, when it dies, poo creature's power is greater than... Oh my god, why am I doing this? Oh my god. Assassin's Trophy, I'd forgotten about that card. We haven't opened an Assassin's Trophy. Or a Planeswalker. These boxes suck. What? This is a bit thick. Creatures you control gain indestructible. Take an extra what? Take an extra turn? I like taking extra turns. <laughs> Beginning of that turn's end step, you lose the game. Sure. Definitely mythic worthy. Is it? Someone said this is great. It does say you win on there as well as you lose. Doesn't say you win, but taking an extra turn. Uh, and you've got control over that, right? You've got a, shields are down. Ah, uh, look, Bokul. Alternate win conditions can be can be interesting. I think they're starting to do too many. It almost feels like they're doing one per set now. More like one per year. What about this thing? Is this good? We've seen this. We've seen this. It's all right. Shocks. All the shocks. Shock number 22. Is anyone counting? Just play a card that says you can't lose this turn. That's a really good point. Oh, combos. What is this? We've got a lot of shocks, guys, but no assassins trophies. Or planeswalkers. Uh... Oh, changing the rarities on the split cards. Man. All those coders trying to do the uh, websites listing all the cards, they would have a heart attack. What does this do? Three cost, three one, life linker. Enters the battlefield, exile target card from the graveyard. When you surveil, if it's in your graveyard, you may pay three life and return it. Ooh, and it's not a zombie. That's interesting. Flavor fail. Doom Whisperer is cheesy. Well, I don't think we've opened a, a Doom Whisperer either. Conclave Guild Mage. His foil. And I do. I don't know, I'm interested to see what the Guild Mage does. So, play green, tap him, get trample. Five and white, tap him, get a 2 2 with vigilance. Yeah, all right. Uncover uncommon power level. Oh, I've already pulled the rare out of this pack. All right, stuck it on the light. Run out of go-go juice, guys. We've only got this much to go. I'm going to call it done. Gruesome menagerie. We've seen it. It's it's cool. I like it. It was a pretty full foil, yeah. Uh, leaves flying through the air and stuff. Nice. I haven't taken any notice of the Demir Guild Mage. Ooh, we've got a foil. It's white. It's a flyer. Much excite. Oh, Healer's Hawk. That's not an angel. What are you doing? Hmm. What's going on there? The bottom of it is like just a blue. Is that meant to be holding like a magic potion or something? Dunno. On to the rare. The best. The baddest. Nip Mizzet. Might not as cool as Bolas, arguably, as as our villain, but I'm a fan. It's in the flavor text. The wounded see the glow of the vials long before... God, you're observant. Long before they see its wings driving out of the clouds. Well, there you go. It's a vial. Thank you. Nibmizit turns on Karinus by himself. 
He does awesome stuff. Uh, what do we got? Not a Planeswalker. Not an Assassin's Trophy. Mausoleum, Mausoleum Secrets, guys. Search your library. Do stuff. Cool bet cards. That's good advice. Uh, you know what? I reckon this is the one where we got to pull a better card. It's a Mythic! Alright. Weird demonic tutor deck. Yeah, there's there's some de weird gra graveyard shenanigans going on with this. This is our Mythic, guys. <sighs> gotta keep smiling. Gotta keep smiling. Here's a flying haste 3-2 that does stuff. Beginning of combat. Cast three or more instants of sorceries. Returning from the graveyard to the battlefield. He's a phoenix. Cool. Nice and flavorful with the normal phoenix. This is not the mythic we wanted, guys. Dawn of Hope. Two pass. Whenever you gain life, pay two, draw a card. White doesn't get that good access to drawing cards, so that's sort of interesting. Uh, oh, and it comes self-contained with a drawing mechanism. Oh, expensive, but white soldier with lifelink. Oh no, certainly I'll build around that in, in sealed. I'll build around that. Alright. Thief of Sanity. We have not seen this, I don't think. Flying. Whenever deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards. Exile one of them face down. Put the rest in the graveyard. <sighs> so much text. You guys can read the rest. Oh, I'm glad this box is just about finished. <sighs> All right. I'm not not getting not getting sad about our mythics or the quality of these boxes not at all not at all uh destroy all creatures with toughness for greater okay big butt board wipe citywide bust there's some joke in there that i'm not gonna make we're gonna go with big butt board wipe Say that five times fast. Beast Whisperer. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. I like drawing cards. I like casting creature spells. I don't like four cost two threes. The Citywide Bust is good in Commander in Arcades. It's interesting. Arcades is pretty popular. Alright, we've got a foil. Propon foil. That's cool. I like Propon. Not the foil we were looking for. Deafening Clarion. That was an interesting card. It's only two boosters left. Two boosters! Let's make them good ones! What do we need to make this these boxes worth it, guys? Uh, I guess we've, we've pulled like 10 shocks. Uh, I'm trying to... It's hard not to be sad when you've got zero Assassin's Trophy, zero Planeswalkers. That's not either of them. I'd settle for a Ralzaric at this stage. This, this this one's pretty cool. I like this card. I think it's interesting. Maybe not standard playable. Maybe. It, it blocks well. I don't know. It'd be a horrible box for sealed then. Maybe. Still no walker or trophy. No. Nope. And we're on the last booster that really did not want to open. Alright, I haven't seen it. I'm going to draw it out a bit. Because it's the last one. Alright. We've got... This. And this. I'm not sure this is the order they came out. Leapfrog. We saw a foil one of those. I do like the art. That's a cool looking frog. As cool as frogs can look. 
got an arm that's very into frogs. Uh, Burglar Rat. He does stuff. More commons. Walls are always nice. It's close for stated, Caleb. Alright. I'd be interested in playing that. Seems super fun. Not interested in playing it if I'm going to lose all the time. Uh, but if it's semi competitive, like tier 2, tier 3, I'd have a crack. How many mythics so far? Don't ask, man. <laughs> I'm not sure. But we did get mythics. They just weren't the mythics that you're really hoping for. But this last booster is going to come good with something awesome. More commons. Now we're up to uncommons. You guys can almost see the cards. That would spoil the fun. Three out of the two boxes? Nah, it's been more than that. We'll do a little review. I've seen the rare guys and it's not putting a smile on my face. Although I do like land. Alright, it's not as cool after pre-release but I'm planning on doing some more of this next week. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I've got to do it anyway, so why not do it on camera. Two boxes, no walker, no assassin's trophy. Oh, three mythics this box. Alright. There's one mythic. I'll put it where you guys can see it. Well, sort of see it. Uh, two mythics. Chance for glory. Hang on. Let's do this. There's one mythic. There's two mythics. There's... Three mythics. There's four mythics. See, he'll he'll see play, right? Phoenix is sweet. All right. Uh, he'll see play, I think. Hey, what do I know? I don't play standard very much. Not as much as I'd like to. Uh, Aurelia. So. What are we up to? Five mythics? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, uh, this mythic. Six mythics. So that's about right, yeah? Seven mythics? How many are we meant to get? Very medium. Oh, hang on, got a few more cards. Hmm, lots of chat going on in chat. I can't, I'm not keeping up with it. You guys talk amongst yourself. A very sweet guild gate. I know you guys probably don't care, but I care. Eight mythics. So the mythics were there. They just... <laughs> there is no assassin's trophies sorry guys all right that's been a uh, guilds of ravnica box opening thanks for jumping in guys uh we've got lots of people watching and chatting and stuff that was great we might do this again next week uh i guess i should say subscribe to the channel or something like that or not keep playing magic guys